for the facility? Oh, okay. for packing, for packaging. packaging. Yeah. This is all. Oh, so, right. and wow. so, the, so you're going to have to use a bit of imagination. Yeah, of to, uh, And I'll take you through the process as it as it will happen. So, okay, so what in. will so what will happen is is that this will get um, we'll put a gradient on it mm -hmm. and and put a um, like a plastic underneath with with stone over the top so that you can drive vehicles onto here mm -hmm. um, and but that the water doesn't sit on the surface so then there'll be drains along the front the produce will come in um, through through little mini tractors mm -hmm. they'll drop it off here so all the produce comes in and gets loaded into this area this will just have some shade cloth over the top of it um, and just so that the produce doesn't get sun on it but as I said we, we harvest early in the morning so it's normally not an issue then once they've, they've harvested the produce and it's, it's all over here, then the, whoever's operating over here brings through the, what we call the lugs, so it's, it's, it's all those containers with it, in, and he brings it through to, to here. And each one of those, those lugs fits on over here, and he tips it in, and this, the price is So it's Ken's homemade washing machine. <laughs> okay. And um, there are brushes. You can actually see these right. brushes over here. So this brush, and a lot more like them, fits into this machine. So what happens is that the tomatoes roll in, get sprayed off by a, um, it's actually a natural product but it's an anti-fungicide. Mm. So it uses natural enzymes to prevent any, so it kills any bacteria or anything right. that would cause a fungus in the packaging process. Oh, right. So the thing is, is that we're very concerned about that, that once the product leaves us, that there's no residue on it mm. of anything. Right. So it actually gets to the home and it's clean. So we wash it off over here, and then the rollers actually polish it a bit, mm. so they right, spin sure. anything off. And then there's especially what we call flip bars that dry it at the same time. So it goes through this process over here, and then comes down to this is um, it's called an elevator. <laughs> it literally just picks oh, right. up the, 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 the tomatoes and elevates it onto this unit here, which is the sizer. And what happens here is that the tomatoes come up and they, it drop sizes them. So we set the gap mm. over here, and the smallest will, will cut through in this area, then the mediums, and then the larges on the end. And, and then this is, this is Ken and Margie's state-of-the-art grading system. <laughs> <laughs> well, all that happens, it's actually very simple, is that this is covered with sheet metal, and the tomato is rolled out, and the workers stand here, and they grade by eye. Oh, right. So it's just so that it's at a nice height yeah. you can stand. Yeah. Right. And you stand over here, you have first grade, you have second grade and third grade, and first grade roll down to the end and land up in the crate. And you can have, we could in this, using this machine, easily grade probably 10 tons of tomatoes a day. 10 tons of tomatoes. Because the process, the, the time wasting factor is the washing, washing. Yeah. and the sizing. Yeah. It's very difficult to right. size the tomatoes because of the shape. Yep. Right. This machine will do it all for us. And then all they're doing, 90% of our fruit is first grade because of what we grow. Oh, right, sure. So most of the people getting them, what they do is they're looking for something. Just picking up the ones that might not be perfect. Right. And That's the rest really of it just yep. rolls down and ends up in a crate at the end. One man stands at the end. And he's constantly changing. There's a crates. There's a sample of the crates right. that we use, and um, he's just changing those crates. And then he takes it through to that side, um, mm -hmm. and then that's dispatch. Mm -hmm. And then we dispatch it out from there. And our goal is that what we harvest, so whatever harvest was harvested this morning, will be at the packhouse by two o'clock this afternoon. So that's where we sell oh. the distribution. Center. It's amazing. And then, Fresh from the, right off yeah, the plant, literally. Basically. And um, then and, and then from there. Um, they they will work. They normally will get that out into the supermarkets. They'll probably be in the supermarket for about tomorrow. Right. And for us, one of the key factors is, is that we avoid the cold chain process mm. because it's not good. So what a lot of uh, the, the the bigger. Uh, 
pharmas and, and, and the, especially the co major corporations are doing, is they're using ethylene control and mm -hmm. all of that for false ripening. We're trying to avoid that process mm -hmm. as far as mm -hmm. possible. We want the consumer to get <clears throat> that product fresh. Mm -hmm. right. And they will. Yeah. So, that's what's so right now, what you're doing though with the tomatoes that you're picking all is hand. as the all the all hand. And it's okay. very, very time okay. consuming. Okay. The washing takes so long. Right. So you have to wash it, get right. everything off it, then you have to stand there and size and it, it, and right. it just takes so long. And um, when do you think this is going to be up? I'm hoping program? next week. Excellent. Are you kidding me? Yeah. This yeah. is so exciting. Yeah. So it's very, very exciting. Uh, you know, this, this, this um, pack house was, we, we went to a lot of effort to really, so it's got um, thermal insulation in the roof, mm -hmm. so, so that it doesn't get too hot inside here. Um, we had the floors professionally done, mm -hmm. so there's no, um, no water will ever sit on the floor, it'll all mm -hmm. run off, it's all drained mm -hmm. on that side. Um, all the electrics have been done properly, so they're right up and out mm -hmm. of the flat. This, was, this has just been finished two days ago. So this is um, all emergency stops. So any worker in any place can emergency stop mm -hmm. anything. Um, so yeah, it's, um, my, my, my um, arc welding is a little bit bad, so you can see that. Don't mind the <laughs> <laughs> It's excellent. So it's been very exciting. And all of this you kind of, um, you basically have to learn yourself. And yeah, yeah. So we bought these machines from a, another farmer who had stopped using them. Mm. And I, I was visiting their farm and I saw this, this machine that they had and mm -hmm. said to them, um, would they be willing to sell it? Mm -hmm. So then we've reconditioned it. Mm -hmm. right. So you can see there's pieces that we cut off and we're modifying it to, to do what, what we wanted right. to do. And uh, it's been, we've just been very blessed. It's, mm -hmm. it's been fantastic. Um, yeah.